24 years old, Alala Nania was last seen on July 30th, 2022 at the Peach Street Midtown Apartments on the 1600 block of Peach Street in Atlanta, Georgia. She never never seen leaving those again. For months, there were no word on what happened to this beautiful, beautiful young lady. All the public knew was that she believed to have been abducted by two men. Today, those two men charged with the unliving of Al 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 Alana. She still has not been found. Here to speak with us today is her mother, Jeanette Jackson. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. How are you? Beautiful. Hey. <laughs> All right, y'all. Cool. I wash my hair for y'all. <laughs> There we go. We got to get together. She look just like her daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look like twins. She's so pretty. Welcome and thank right? you so much for um. I want to say here. thank you so so much. Yes, thank you. thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. Um, thank you so much for answering my message right away, and you agree right away to come on. I really. appreciate Appreciate that. This was my, that was my first reaching out. I usually talk to Sammy, your brother. Yeah, I've been in contact with him for a while. Mm. Um, yeah, he told me. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's very a sweet, sweet guy, awesome person. That's my friend. That's my friend now. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um. So we can let her, you want to go, her to go um, ahead into her story? I've been, yes, that's what I was going to, that's, okay, tell us, gonna... um, tell you what, I'm sorry, here's a little delay. Tell us your story. Okay, well, first, and, uh, um, yeah. tell us your, I... tell you what, story about what's going on. Okay, um. So my daughter's name is. Tell Ash us your story about your your beautiful daughter and. Okay, okay. So um, my daughter's name is actually Alani Lenore, and uh, better known as Fruity on you know social media. Um, my daughter, twenty four years old. Um, it's a tough story. It doesn't get any easier to speak on. Um. So uh, she went out with her friend Tori, um, two, two, two young women um, to meet Deontay Reynolds and Stephen Obiate. They went to the apartment, as you just mentioned, um, uh, high rise in a luxury high rise in Midtown Atlanta. Um, usual Saturday night, go out, have friends, uh, go go have fun. And, um, that was the last time I saw my daughter. Um, they are seeing four of them coming in, only three coming out of that apartment. Um, she's never been mm -hmm. seen again. Um, since then, um, of course I just heard you read the, you know, you read some of the charges. Um, there are actually, uh, three men involved that have been charged so far. Um, which is uh, Deontay Reynolds, Stephen Obiate, and Nicholas Hendrickson. At this time, uh, Nicholas Hendrickson mm -hmm. and Deontay Reynolds are um, under um, custody. They have been arrested and formally charged, and they have also been indicted formally. Um, Stephen Obiate remains a fugitive. Um, he was cooperating with the police in order to um, pretty much de deceive the police to to get away, to do exactly what he's doing now. And so he is on mm -hmm. Atlanta uh, top 10 most wanted. Um, I would like to, you know, be able to speak 
um, to have better news, right, at this point about my daughter, but I don't. Um, she still hasn't been located. Uh, there are four people who know for sure what happened to her that day, and all four refuse to say what actually happened. Um, those four being um, Deontay, Stephen, Nicholas, and Tori Green. Um, you know, they went there. I, who knows what happened there? Um, and my daughter has been made to vanish. Originally, um, when this first happened, um, you know, they basically, their stories have changed so much within all of this time. There was always um, causing confusion, you know, to cause confusion, um, both to me and the police. Um, fortunately, I am not someone who is easily led not by emotion nor by what people say. Um, so I just didn't believe me having a close, you know, relationship with my daughter, any of the stories that any of these people had to say. And so um, originally about the third day mm -hmm. of my daughter being missing, um, I was told by the police that uh, she would be put on missing persons. However, she was an adult based off these original three liars um she had simply just walked off and you know decided to have a new life somewhere um i knew that that was not true mm -hmm. i had to fight you know kind of battle through that um luckily you know I, my daughter did live in my home and also we had very close communication so i was able to prove through giving access of my phone and her phone records that we spoke every day that we text every day, that we send each other's messages every day, that when she was in, not in communication with me, she would be in communication with her you know, baby brother every day. This was constant, even if she didn't come home for the night, if she stayed at a boyfriend's house or went out with girlfriends or whatever, there will be some kind of com communication. Um, so she wouldn't just check out, leave and move to another state and not tell me. There will be no reason to do that. Um, and fortunately, mm -hmm. I was able to prove that rather quickly. And um, from there, mm -hmm. you know, of course, it was a battle of, you know, you know, getting the police to pretty much believe that there was something that was not right, you know, not just some girl having a good time. Maybe she's hungover somewhere, you know, things that young people do. You know, which I get that part, you know, but that in mm -hmm. all actuality, uh, their stories weren't lining up. The energy wasn't right. Um, uh, it, it was constant change. You know, uh, I uh, the police told their version of how they were swift. They were not swift. They were not swift in doing anything. But I will say that um, after moving mm -hmm. it up, the chain, the detective that is in charge of the case did do a great job. You know, I don't want to just be on here saying like police didn't do their job. There are, you know, good and bads in everything. You know, I do believe that, you know, uh, the original people who were on the case could have potentially, um, if my, you know, um, it's hard for me to acknowledge the charges. But uh -huh. at the end of the day, I'm a mom. So um, I, what I will say is that whether she's here, you know, she's in heaven. You know, they buried her somewhere. They took her somewhere. Whatever they've done to her, they've already done. It's already happened. But what I will say is that 
these people, there's nothing that the police can tell me. Nothing, nothing. There is no evidence, nothing that these guys will come up with, you know, to save themselves, nothing. Um, I know two things for sure. My daughter didn't go to that apartment to harm anybody. Period. She went out to have a good time as all 24 year olds do, as I did when I was 24. She didn't go there to harm or hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. And she's gone. And when I say she's gone, she's vanished. And the other thing that I will not accept is that this was their first go around at doing something to this. They knew what to say to the police. They knew how to move her around and that that would cause problems. Because when you move in somebody from place to place, it becomes a county issue. Police to police to try to talk to this, to get, you know, to get permission to come over here and, you know, logistically they did a lot of things that would not constitute you saying oops this was a mistake we had an accident here because an accident shows different things you know oops she hit her head oh my god what we do you know mm. and what it also shows is that not only did they go through these long lengths to hide from the police they still they're caught there's no way around they're they're the ones that are in jail the one that ain't in jail he ain't in jail because you know what he hiding from the police because he knows you gonna go to jail jail they're not those people are not coming out of jail but what i do know is that they knew how to play the system they knew listen when the police came knocking they weren't nervous and I, oh, that girl, she a right, right away girl. She done went up the street. Or she told us she was going up the street to have another good time. You see what I'm saying? Like, you were like freaking out or panicking or mm -hmm. one of the people saying, hey, man, this ain't right. There was an accident here. Then none of them do that. And that's what it lets me know that this was calculated. Regardless of what they come up with later on. Because you know a story is coming. And it ain't going to be the one that, that tells the truth. It's going to mm -hmm. be one that tries to get them the minimal amount of time in the prison. That's that's what they're going to try to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, this last, that just, uh, he was the last person that they picked up, which was Nicholas Hendrickson. Just last month, he tried to get a uh, bond, you know, uh, citing that, you know, he didn't have nothing to do with this when there's plenty. He's the one who moved my daughter. He's the one who moved her from county to county and state to state. He on camera like a fool. But he's still gonna try to lie. And this is somebody who was in the military I don't know about you ladies, and I have some people who I have been friends with. I have some long, I mean, I have some really, really close that I've been friends with for decades. I don't know who people got on deck that, that they claim there was, you know, a, a body. And you y'all just call each other up, hey, can you help me move this person? Or is this something, what I would pose, is this something that's been going on? and then their families, um, you know, I wanna mm. hold their families accountable. The ones that are coming to court, um, that mm -hmm. have the nerve to think that, 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 that they tell their sons, hey, tell this mother, like whatever has happened, you can't control what's happened, but give, give this family some peace. Give this family some peace, let them start to heal. I have an eight-year-old who has a lot of questions every single day. What can I say to him about humanity, about the law, about injustices that, that he's going to go on to having because he's 
because you know why. Because I'm light, but I'm not light enough. And my babies sure aren't. And we know that that's why. It's taken so long to get answers. And it's a harsh reality to have to try to explain to an eight-year-old, one, that your favorite person in the world probably ain't coming back to this house, but two, how society views her not good enough to look for, not good enough to televise, mm -hmm. not important enough mm -hmm. to put pressure on the people who did this. These people were out on the street for a long time, laughing, joking, saying things about my daughter. Their parents were on the internet talking crazy. Like my daughter is not somebody that they would be associated with. In fact, they were texting my daughter and calling her and asking her to come over. Your sons were doing that. And you know, they should be human. I'm calling out to just being human at this point. I don't even want justice anymore. Because I can't say that as a as a people, we believe in it. We don't. We don't. We ask for it because it's a language that we feel that they understand. But we don't believe in justice. Because what justice will bring my daughter home in the same, in the same way she left here that's the only justice that i can get is that my daughter will return to this house in the same capacity that she left laughing full of life open-minded joyful am i gonna get that back i am not gonna get that back what i'm gonna get is a bunch of bs political answers, right? That's all I can get. Give her some peace. Mm. I'm never truly gonna be peaceful in my heart because my daughter is not gonna be in the same capacity that I had her when she left. So that is not possible. What is possible is holding people to the same accountability as other people that is possible and that is why i'm on your show and that is what i'm want to talk about to give my son an understanding that it is possible i'm sorry i don't have nothing to apply for We're so sorry. Yes. So, so sorry. The sad part is I'm not alone. Wow. I'm not alone in this. This is this is craziness that's happening everywhere. But it's really, yeah. really just in a on a on a heightened level in Atlanta, particularly in Fulton County, where they know mm. that sentencing is low you know I'll, I'll tell you right now i've been reaching out to everybody and their mama anybody who will listen to me because the governor of georgia responded the senator reached out to me with a heartfelt letter the council women of Fulton County reached out. 
the chief, the assistant chief of police reached out. Ain't heard nothing from the mayor. And he knows this is happening in his city. Wow. I've written letters, I've reached out, I post them, I tag them every time. People have reached out to him at his church. Quiet as a church mouse. This is happening rapidly in your city. Wow. Mm -hmm. what is, and I what do is, see what a is, lot of stuff like this going on. What you say? I'm sorry. No, I'm saying a lot in Atlanta. There's yeah. a lot of stuff like that going on in Atlanta. In the city of Atlanta. Because people think Georgia, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, Atlanta. No. Mm -mm. In the city of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Where they understand that Fulton County, you could get the lightest sentences. <sighs> Deontay Reynolds had 50 years, 50, look it up. This is a matter of public record. 50 years of probation. Meaning before this case, before he got caught in this, he had several other cases. They gave him 20, 20 years of probation for one. They gave him 20 probation years for another. They gave him 10 probation years for, this is what they give you probation. These, these, these people, these criminals don't care about no probation. Mm -hmm. No. no, they don't care about that. They'd be like, mm, mm, I'm gonna mm. go right over here to this Fulton County and commit these crimes. Everybody, ask anybody in the streets where they want to commit the crime. They're like, Man, wh where you got your case at? Funny kind of, oh, you good, you good. Boo, doesn't matter what it is, including a, 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 a murder charge. No. That's where you want to get it oh. in Fulton County. Because they ain't gonna, they people know unless you, 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 wow. you running and, and <clears throat> smiling, and that's why I can't be quiet because you're not gonna sweep this under the rug. I promise you, you're not. I promise you. I know, I know Brooklyn squad ain't gonna be quiet. I know Shiro ain't gonna be quiet. We're not gonna be quiet. That's right. I we're not. That's right. People are That's sick right. of it. And who are we to mm -hmm. hold accountable when the people you go to is no help? Mm. Who? Yep. When people you go to yep. is 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 acting like they can't hear you. They don't they yep. don't feel nothing. And let me tell you. I've been real quiet on that subject because I'm mm -hmm. not a person that like to fly off the handle and just say stuff, including mm -hmm. with my daughter's case. I've, I've been very careful about who I talk about and how I talk about them because there have been people, like I said, who did help me. There was mm -hmm. a council woman that right away, boom, let me help you. Let me get you in front of the right people. This is injustice. Let me, what's going on? I don't, let me get mm -hmm. you in, in a hold of the, you know, the, the chief of police, you know, there are people in the city who do care, who do, who are responsible for um, the office that they hold. There are police officers that are good, that are thorough. The detective who is now in charge of, of her case was very thorough. And I was frustrated in his thoroughness. Because, you know, I want you to be fast and I want you to kick in the door and I want you to, you know, look, you know, like you're mm -hmm. upset. But he was very thorough in all of the things that he did do to make sure that all the evidence that there is, is solid. So there are good people. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to throw the whole system in the trash. The judge who's looking over, she's very thorough. I was a little scared. I ain't going to lie to you. I was a little concerned. <laughs> she got a real nice temperament, you know? But she is very thorough in the questions that she's asking. She's very thorough. She's she's listening. 
she's paying attention you know mm -hmm. and that's all i'm asking for people to do is to pay attention it's good pay attention to what's happening to us because it's happening too often i'm just a mother that mm -hmm. is not gonna stop I, i'm not that's right I'm not to kick in the door myself I'm not afraid to go knock. I've knocked on all these people's parents' house. Hey, hey, where your son at? Where my kid at? Where my daughter at? That's more. Hey, who you know? Who know him? You know his cousin? You know his brother? You know his sister? You know, reach out to them. I'm still asking the community. If you know these people, you know their mother, you know their brother, you know their sister, you know their cousins, you know their baby mamas. They know their people ain't right. And they know this ain't right because this ain't right. It is not right. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is 24 mm -hmm. years old have their whole life ahead of them disappear. My daughter has disappeared. They made her vanish. There was a camera. Mm -hmm. Four people walked in the building. Only three people came out. That was the last time she was seen. In a place where you think everything's good. All these young people coming to college right here in Atlanta. Now imagine if I didn't mm -hmm. live where my daughter lives. Imagine how many mothers, right? Mothers and daughters get into arguments all the time, like petty stuff. Don't even have to be real. You getting on my nerves right now, girl. And that was the first question y'all want to mm -hmm. ask me. Did y'all get into an argument? Are you sure? I imagine Ugh. how we... You wouldn't have even mm -hmm. looked for her because you told mm -hmm. me to go home. Mm -hmm. And forget about it. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently, they didn't know who they was talking about because I can't... I'm over here. I forget about nothing. I'm still thinking about stuff that happened 25 years ago. So I certainly ain't going to forget about my child. But how many parents have had to just go home, make two or three kids they got to take care of, and they got to go to work, and they're exhausted, and this is the most horrific thing that any person would ever have to endure. And I still have to go to work because I still have to keep these lights on in this house mm -hmm. and I still have an eight-year-old that's watching my every move so I have to present good you know even though I don't feel good I have to present good mm -hmm. and I still have to go to work and try to not take out my personal problems on everybody who I meet who says good morning and luckily for me, mm. I've always had my faith. Because it's not me who's pushing through. It's not. That's right. God. That's right. But wow. how many more? Mm. I can tell wow. you. They just found a girl who got mm -hmm. lost. She she came up missing three days before my daughter, four days before my daughter. And of course, you know, same old, must have ran away. They weren't looking for her parents, begging for help, barely got televised. Come to find out, a police officer did her in. This is just recent. Do you want to know why I... Think, I um... That's this is this is really new, right? The other girl, Susanna, her name is yes. Susanna. Yeah, she came up missing a few days before my daughter. I remember passing out flyers and people saying, Hey, you know what? And telling me about her story. And they just found her remains. <laughs> The cop that was um young, the young black officer? Yeah. That cop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Mm, but mm, mm. I, you know, I, it's hard. Wow. It's hard to accept these realities. Yeah. Do you mind if um we ask you any? Can we ask you a few questions? Is that okay? Are you open for that? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I remember when I was watching the news and I was so upset with the cops because when they had said that, I know I don't say her name right. You got to excuse me for names. Alani. You know, I say Alani. I know. I, <laughs> I was saying earlier, you know, everybody knows. <laughs> I'm so twisted when it comes to names, but I'm all love here. I'm so sorry. But um, when the, the cops said she was deceased, and I'm thinking, I don't have nobody, I have no, no confession. I just... That kind of like, and it wasn't, they didn't even have an arrest at that time. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of blew me away. I was really upset about that. Um, yeah. Because I've seen stories where to even, you know, they still to this day are missing and they don't come right away and just say, Oh, the person is so soon. You know what I mean? So soon already dece deceased. Well, I want to say this. Um, why, is, why would investigation, right? Um, but I, what I will say is is public record. Um, they have very good evidence to suggest that these men did just that. Okay. They have very good evidence to 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 suggest. And I want to say this to you. I'm mom, right? So if a mom is capable of anything, is capable of believing in a miracle and having hope, Mm. when it comes to their kids yeah. and a believing mom even more because you can breathe life into death right something can be dead and then not be dead right we've seen it there are, are real life right So I will say that. However, if let's just go with a uh, we on a crime show, right? If somebody abducts you and removes you from everything that you love and care about, okay, and has zero intentions. Even if they don't, if, if you're still breathing, okay, but they do not have any intention on ever giving you back, they have murdered you. Because you're no longer mm. alive to the people who love you and you are no longer alive for your own life, for your own purpose. In fact, an enslaved person would be dead. Now mm -hmm. I'm talking, we talking on some other parameters, right? We have to use some kind of intelligence now while we're talking. 
you think about that and just chew on it. If that's your whole intention, you in fact are worse than a murderer because what you're doing to a human being is worse than death. Right? And you should be charged worse than a death. So to me, the murder charger ain't enough. Mm. Because you move my daughter around, period, point blank. What were you doing when you moved her, sir? What? What were you doing when you moved her? So yes, it is, it is, it is very tough for anybody to accept in a and, and logical mind, like, man, you ain't found a body. You ain't, yeah, let's think about it all the way. It don't matter if I find a body ever or not. Because you're you're not wanting to ever. Your intention was never to give her to me anyway. And that is a death. That is a death. I want you guys to just think about it. Don't even say nothing else about it. Think about that. When these people came around and decided to take us, take us as a people and do what they wanted with us, we were in fact already dead. And the ones who took death had a better time of it. in my opinion. Wow. But yeah, they, they, they have in fact did that and they deserve everything that a prison got for them for the murder. Everything. Mm-hmm. And, and for continuously at this point, you caught You are caught. They have so much evidence. You told us from your mouth, their mouths. All of them told on themselves. Mm -hmm. They admitted that they were with her. They were admitted that they were the last ones to be with her. They they admitted a bunch of things. Together, separately. And none of them were arrested when they admitted to it. So you can't say, oh, you know, we we didn't know what we were saying. We didn't have food. No, you was having a good time, jolly good time while you was talking. Stephen did plenty of talking. Mm. That's why he running right now. Mm. Mm. And I'm highly disappointed. Because wow. she helped him. And she got daughters too. Mm. She got daughters and granddaughters because he's got a daughter. Yeah, so I mean. you know, you you got you got a daughter, and everything that you do in life, yeah. Yeah. it's a repetitive sick cycle. Mm-hmm. I'm speechless. Yeah. They, That's right. are hard for me to, as a mother, accept certain realities. Wow. But I had to train my mind to out what it is that you, you took her life, whether I want to admit to it or not, because she's not here. This is her life. This house, being here with us, this is her life. You took that. She ain't in this house. And you made it so she'll never come back to this house. Your intention till to this day has not been, hey, you know what? You know, it's a mistake. She's here. No, in fact, they said she don't, she no longer exists. They've said it. They have said it. Mm, Okay. Why isn't she being charged? 
Hotori. I could say some names about her, but uh, I'm a. Uh, he, he, mm -hmm. I was gonna say another name about her, but I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, her. You gonna keep it professional. Um, you know, I, I want to say, um, Tori is obviously a yeah. source for, for everybody, right? Here's the thing. It's two yeah. things. It's two things about Tori. There's a couple things about Tori that you should know. One thing about Tori is that at one point I loved Tori. Right? Mm. So you position yourself to feeling with somebody who you care about. And I think about Tori and the fact that she's so young, right? I think of her youth. I think about it in the same, I try to have the same kind of thought pattern that I would if my daughter was in a, a reverse kind of situation, what I feel towards my daughter. The only thing is that uh, here's two things that pot potentially happened with Tori. Either Tori was totally in on on it since day one or she's a horrible human being for the words that she spoke after my daughter had been gone. Not of one of a person who was considered mm -hmm. but out of someone who says mm -hmm. oh if you're gonna blame me or you're gonna the nerve of you questioning me well girl you lied i don't know why you lied i don't know if you lied because you were in on it i don't know if you lied because you was high i don't know if you lied because you're a liar right i don't know if you lied because of privilege right, right? Some people who have certain kind of privileges, right, don't feel like they got a question. They, when they're questioned, they feel like, you got the nerve to question me. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Without me getting too technical, right? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. out of all of those reasons, Honestly, I pray that my daughter never saw mm. the be betrayal, that she knows nothing of it. That she she never saw Damn. or kind of looked at her for help or was like, don't leave me. I pray that wasn't the case. And that my daughter never saw it, the betrayal. Here's the thing with Tori, though. I saw it. I saw that when you were questioned because you didn't, you didn't honor, you didn't answer honestly from the first place, right? For whatever reason it was, it could have been that she was just afraid because she's twenty something, and when you're twenty something, you're dumb. Right? Because you of lack of experience. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm not going to talk about her. I'm going to talk about me and mistakes mm. that I made when I was young and afraid to just tell the truth. Right? Because of fear of what's going to come out of it. However, you're talking about somebody's life. Somebody's life. So if you can't muster enough truth in you to save someone's life or at least give me an understanding of mm -hmm. what actually happened. You're a horrible human being. Then you spew evil things about my daughter. Yeah. Which it don't matter if any of them are true. Remember what I said in the beginning of this interview. I know my daughter didn't go there to hurt somebody.
And actually, that you know, night, I, I heard the only, the only reason my daughter went out was because Tori was having some issues and kept calling her and wanting to go out with her and mm -hmm. wanting to do stuff that day, mm -hmm. that weekend. So it's very hard for me to, um, you know, kind of deal with someone when I know the very last thing you had to say about my daughter was something negative. But the very last thing that I heard my daughter say to me about her was, man, she just needs some help. Ain't nobody out here, her friend, mom. She don't got nobody. Wow. Wow. The very last conversation she I had. Good heart. In fact, about Tori. Tori and how she was having some problems. Wow. And I just told her, stay out of it. Stay out of it, you know, stay out of it. She's like, Mom, I can't, you know, she don't know how to do nothing. She out here, you know, just not moving right. And I just got to be around her for a little bit, you know, make sure she's good. That's the last conversation I had with my daughter. Wow. So for Tori. She was trying to help Tori. Yeah. Wow. My daughter, help. She was trying to help Tori. So for Tori, you know, I, I I saw the nasty responses. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Let's say I saw the nasty, disrespectful stuff she said to you, your family, to about your daughter. And wow, I, I mean, I but I believe it because I seen it. You know what I mean? But I'm saying that I don't believe it. Like I thought that was just so, so evil. Very, it was very evil. evil. You was oh, family. Yeah. This young lady. Yeah. I supposed to be supposed to be Oh God. Ooh. My desire for Tori, honestly, is for her to do some real you're gonna have to do some real work internal work to live with either what she's done or what she's said you see what i'm saying she's gonna have to either live with if she was a part of it she gotta live with that darkness or what you said in defense to people questioning you and your honesty because her claim is that that was just a response because she was upset because people were challenging what she had said. But in all reality, she had gave like 20 different versions. So we were just trying to get to which one is it? Yeah. Right. And, and in, and in the, on the journey to that, right. Of course, people are upset, you know, people are aggressive, people are, you know, sassy, people are outright like, Hey, listen, Joker. You better quit lying, right? Mm -hmm. I can't control what other people was doing. I was always right. in the belief that, and people who are close to me, and you know, I don't ask people to, to, to not tell their truth, but will tell you like they were like you were still defending her. You you could tell from a long time. I I barely speak her name. I barely. I just talk to you. I barely speak her name, for one reason is. Because when you love someone, regardless of whatever they turn into, that doesn't just go away. Mm -hmm. She was my family. And my right. daughters, her, my daughter saw her as family. So I try to stick to the integrity of that. Right. 
my daughter was also, you guys don't know her, but anybody who knows her, my daughter is a person who right now, today, she could punch you in the face. We, we, we mad, me and you, we, who you talking to, you know, punch each other. And then she'll turn around and be like, it's okay. I'm like, no, it's not okay. Cause I'm not one of those type of people. And she'd be like, mom, we were both raggedy at that moment. But I'm faulty too. I'm messed up too. I should have never spoke to her in that tone too. And literally would squash it. And mm -hmm. in her heart, it was gone. So to be try to be true to who she mm. was. I try to stay away from that conversation to stay true to wow. her because that's who she, she is. Mm. And anybody who, I mean, I had so many people show up, <laughs> you know, to help me and go out and look for her. And it, I turn around, be a girl, man, y'all smacked it out like a year ago, you know? And they're like, that's my girl. Like we wrapped it up. We talked about like how we don't need to talk to each other. And I was wrong. And she was wrong. And, and people be like, why are those people here? And I'm like, because that's who my daughter was mm -hmm. like, really? She won fake kind of person, nothing fake about mm -hmm. her, the good, the bad and the ugly. She was the most out there person that you would ever meet. And her truth was she mm -hmm. was a flawed mess, but she was beautiful. Everything in here was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and we could learn a lot from her. And I'm trying to still learn how to walk in forgiveness. And that includes Tori. <laughs> Wow. And everything you do, eventually you pay for it. Wow. And like there said, is, um, can we put up the reward? Yes. Can we put up the reward? Yes. Uh, Sharon Nation? Yes. Um, do you have it? Yeah, I know she got done. I do, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I can. Hold on one second. Yeah. I have to get my charger, ladies, real quick. Okay. Let me check okay, go ahead. And I think her sister is in the um, comments. The who? Mm, she wants to come up. Is that your sister in the comments? Who Veronica? Is that is my sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that your sister here? Proceed with caution. <laughs> She's not for the PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> she's but like, yes, that is she's like, been, uh, no, she says something. She, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> yes, yes. Tori is a big source. Of Would you like her. her to come up? She can, yeah. Okay, yeah. I see she's in the, she's in the comments. She's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't get this done. No, 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 My hair is fuzzy, but it's clean. <laughs> she coming.
Y'all hear me? I can hear you. Okay, because it said that I need the link down below for her. Oh, she's she probably too emotional. Can't get on right now. Okay, all she has to do is click that link. Hi. Huh? That's okay. If she if she doesn't want to, it's okay. I put the link just in case she wanted to come up. She could if she okay. wants to for a little while. Okay. I was reading her comments, so I I said I gotta be. <laughs> oh, she no <gonna> comment. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you make that, <laughs> that announcement. She's like, wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's coming on. She's cry, cry. Of course, okay. my family gets the. Uh, my family, I try to, it's, it's, you know, keep as calm as I can. But of course, when they see me like this, you know, it does something yeah. to them too. It's good. I see you have a lot of support. Um, I've been messaging the young lady that puts everything on um, Instagram. Yeah. That puts all the posts and everything. Yeah. I always check on her and I send little hearts and stuff, you know, just stuff like that. And yeah. definitely appreciate see it. See how I she's have... doing and you know, things like that. Yeah. I'm gonna share that afterwards, you guys. How's your brother doing? I'm having issues bringing oh. it up. I'm still learning StreamYard. Oh, because we're on live, so after then we put it. Yeah. <laughs> I might be able to do it before okay. we begin, but okay. I just want to let you know if you don't see it, that's why. Okay. D says, um, I think allegedly Steven is an informant. For the police. That's what uh, D says. She thinks that he's an informant for the police. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be as I, I just I thought that too. Um. Wow. Such a beautiful, beautiful young lady. Beautiful young lady. It's good yeah. that you have a lot of support. I see y'all go deep in that courtroom. Yes, we do. You know, no, everywhere. I... Everywhere she goes, they go right they right there with her. They do. Um, and I want to say is that, yes, I do have you know, a lot of support, but my daughter had more. <laughs> those are my daughter's homies. You know, those are my daughter's real friends. Those are the people who my daughter affected in ways these girls cannot sleep and they cannot eat. And you're right. If I if I make a move, they right there. I I, I can't even get, even get them to stay still. I'm like, it's okay, you know. You know, I said, I try to really be mindful mm. you know, of what I'm making mm -hmm. my support system feel. Because in all essence, when they see me, like when mm. I get off this live, they all going to be revved up. Again. <laughs> and it's Friday, you know, I want them to go enjoy <laughs> their life, you know. <laughs> Um, so can I ask this? Um, I have a question. That's a blessing. What, um, other than sharing this information for, you know, like getting the, these flyers out, what else can we do to help? The the most. And, also, and another question, part two, is the yes. court here open? Is it like, to can the public go? Yes. Okay. Yes, so the public can go. That's why I announce them every time. And it is very important for us to have as many people, you know, 
I think that we're sending a clear si signal. Well, I know that based off the last court hearing. Um, when the defense was talking about the defendant, she kept touching his shoulder to humanize him. She said, you know, his whole family's here. They like to stand up. That's mom, that's grandma, that's great grandma, that's his sister, that's his brother, that's, I mean, she had everybody stand up. And, and then it was our turn. Mm -hmm. For them to know that it's, it's not, and, and I want to say this to you, the people who have been coming, some of these people I just met on the internet. Some of these people just heard my story on the news and started showing up at the park mm -hmm. some of these people call me and say you know what i got your number i am so sorry i don't know your daughter however i could this could have been me mm -hmm. um this could have been my daughter this was you know i have a granddaughter this age this so the community is also showing the court and this county you're not going to be able mm -hmm. to just say and that's it. Yeah. I believe that the community's involvement and continued involvement mm -hmm. and continued support is what has has allowed for the evidence that I feel there's more. Now I will say there's more evidence to be had. Remember what I'm saying to you today. It's more. So even though people are like, are you good with this? Yeah, but y'all need to keep doing your job because I'm still doing your job because everything that mm. they wouldn't follow, I I did, okay. in fact. Every lead, that is, it seems little. It seems it's, I'm constantly getting calls. I'm constantly getting leads. I'm constantly calling a fugitive. I'm calling here. I'm calling there. I'm like, hey, I'm letting y'all police know I'm going over there. They told me this and this, that's happening over there. And that's community reaching out. People who don't know me, they don't know my daughter, but they know these individuals. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like at this point with Steven, it is going to be the community that says, you know, we're not going to put up with this. Here he is. Here he, he over mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Same with their families. Yeah. If their families take a stand and say, hey, listen, enough is enough. Y'all do the right mm -hmm. thing. We're not going to stand by this. We love y'all, which I get, right? These are somebody else's kids. I get that. I know it sounds weird, but I do. Mm -hmm. I get that your kid hmm. can make a mistake because my kid made a mistake that night. But the difference between my kid's mistake and your kid's mistake is if your kids are in jail, you can write to them. You can send them money for phone calls and snacks. And this, right? They can go to school in there. They can get counseling in there. They can attune and maybe apologize to me and my family, right? So they can learn and not pass on this nonsense to their children, right? Because it's be cycles of this stuff going on. You can do that with your kid. I cannot. And see, in the world, we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You pay for them. You grow. You learn. Right? Maybe you're an example. Somebody else, hey, don't do this. This is what happens when you do this. Don't do this. You get experience and you get wisdom. Right? From mistakes. You will hope. You don't vanish. That's the problem here. You don't, you're not even allowing 
for the opportunity on this side. I can't do nothing with this mistake. Nothing can I do because your children will not allow for it. And so what, what I would say that community could do for me and my family outside of continuous prayer that we need heavy doses of. Mm. Okay, heavy yes. doses is to put some pressure on their family. Put some pressure on their friends. Put some pressure on the associates, legal and illegal. Right? Everybody got peers and peer mm -hmm. pressure to turn this up to turn himself in and for these guys to tell what happened. Because right now Stephen letting these guys take the rap. When in all essence, I believe he is the worst of them all. Oh, wow. He's a mastermind. He ain't no one. I'm not letting the guys that are in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But now they're in a place where they can start thinking and at right. least they can't hurt nobody else. They can't hurt nobody else in the street. Right. But they, because like I said, whatever's happened to my child has already happened. Mm -hmm. Somebody else's child is still potentially in harm's way while Stephen remains in the street. And you know, people always think, not me. I'm gonna be over here minding my business, okay? This thing with COVID made us so desensitized to bullshit. I'm sorry, can I say, sorry. I agree. It, it made us, it's like, we don't yeah, wanna be involved with and yeah, I get, we be like, oh, you know what? I'm just over here minding my business. You know, that's not the kind of business that we talking about. We talk about minding our business while I'm over here making my money and getting myself right and doing stuff with my family and um, doing things the way I want to run in my household. That's what it means to mind your own business. Right. Mind your own business don't mean you see somebody getting kidnap beat up spit on it's some kind of social injustice police brutality mm -hmm. um people raping people taking children uh y'all treat animals mm -hmm. with a higher listen you could walk a couple all of us could be walking not us because i don't think we like that but you know what i us i'm talking about different kinds of people you have one set of people yeah. walk by. You could see a girl right. food arguing. Ah, you're like, oh, I'm not gonna get involved because you know later on they're gonna be cool together. He turned around and slap her. Bah! Keep it mm -hmm. all moving, none of your business, right? Mm -hmm. You see the same guy walking with that girl, they're arguing, and he kicked they dog. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, them folks gonna come over there so fast. Mm. Talk about he hit an animal. He is the worst person on earth. Why do we feel as a people, as a community, mm. it's not okay to, to 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 take somebody's dog, beat somebody's dog, put them to fight, you know, all the things, you know, bad things that they do to animals. People having sex with animals. People don't say nothing about that. Nope. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Because where are we? Yeah, as that's so true. What are, where mm -hmm. are we as humans right now? What is happening? So I would say we need to speak to the humanity, the mm. human beings. Hello, wake up. We can't just keep sitting by watching this devastation happen. And there are many devastations happening. They've always been happening. We just didn't have so many cameras around. 
they always been happening. It's not something new. Right. You know? But as a people, we used to stick by each other and be like, oh, hell no. Mm -mm. You come in there talking all that crazy. Talk about well, my, one of my sons come in talking about they slap some woman. I'm going to beat you right there, right there myself. Myself. Because I'm not, as, as a woman, I'm not going to allow that. And as a brother, you shouldn't either. And it's only a matter of time before this stuff That's comes right. visiting your home. It's, uh, it's in our neighborhoods. And before, back in the day, that's all we had was our neighborhood. We couldn't go nowhere else. But we yeah. just we keep turning a blind eye. My daughter, this happened broad daylight. Think about that. While she was being moved, it was broad daylight. Nine o'clock in the morning. Wow. In the morning. This was not, oh, we did some at night. No. Wow. She moved here, there, there, here. Broad daylight. Somebody saw something. Had to. Somebody saw something. That. This was in a luxury of apartment. It's people coming in and out of that building like crazy. Somebody saw something, but you know what they say to themselves? I'm going to mind my own business. So I will call to those people. Mm. These men call multiple people. It's That's what I said. It's more to this story. And don't worry. I'm going to make sure they get held accountable too. Because just the way Nicholas thought um steven so this happened in july steven and um and um and deontay did not have arrest coming their way till september so they had quite a bit of time right mm -hmm. it was out in the streets talking crazy you know having a good time continuously running mm -hmm. these scams still doing what they was doing you know, they was all popping off. They had conversations with each other. Everything, you know, this going to go away, y'all. Don't worry about it. Let's just be quiet. Nicholas thought, these people don't even know about me. Kept telling y'all, look at my old videos. There's more people. Look at some of my old videos. It's an open investigation. Mm -hmm. I say that because everybody else who took part, y'all better mm. go ahead and call the police anonymously and tell them where my kid is. All these other people who, who could call and get this money. That's right. And tell, tell me, go ahead and do that. Because if you don't, you're going to be in the same category they're in. Yeah. And it's huh? more than one person the day that was involved that night and that day and the people who they called and been talking to about what's going on they got a unit and the people who helped them clean the apartment wow yeah right and the people who helped help them move and the people right across the hall who had a camera who happened to be their friend yeah, I know about them too. Know about y'all. I know about y'all. Interesting. So they had a whole network of stuff that they mm -hmm. had going on in these apartments. And my suggestion is these pressure keep going to where we continuously put the pressure on the people who knew and didn't say nothing. To say what they, they're still anonymous number. Here's the thing with Steven, he's a fugitive, oh. right? So if you tell on a fugitive, you don't have to give your information. They just give you the money because he's a fugitive. You don't got to come to court. 
You don't have to be some kind of informant and give your name. Nothing. You mm -hmm. have to do nothing but call that Crime Stoppers number and tell them where they at. They're going to come over there with a check. Because he, that's that's not part of an investigation. He's a fugitive. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would ask. Mm. Go ahead and get that money. It's time to go shopping anyway. Go on. get you some spring outfits or do something. Mm -hmm. Do the right thing. That's so right. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. You ain't got to give them your name. They're going to just give you the money. You will not be part of the criminal mm -hmm. investigation because that is a separate yeah. thing than this case. All they, all you got to do is tell mm -hmm. them where he at. They going to come bring you a check. That's it. They don't, they don't want to know your name. They don't want to know your social. You they ain't got to come to the court. You ain't got to come to the police station. Mm. You ain't got to do none of that. Actually, they not. Wow. The few people are, are the most down low people there are. They, do, they don't come to the police station. Because they don't want people understanding that they police. Wow. Right. So the fugitive unit do not come in and say hey we saw this we saw that no they simply go out they like bounty hunters bounty hunters don't come and give uh, uh, you know come to court and all that yeah but and i think there's just too many moving parts for this to not what about the other houses that his mother had right too many his, his mother has other houses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. His mother, his baby mother. We are you guys know that over 90% mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. cases like this, they end in jails. So when they start, the fact that you got, they're locked up, they're going to start singing, you know, to get lighter sentences. So, Absolutely, because they're looking at some pretty stiff sentences. Right. They're not going to want to do that time. And all they got to do is think that one is flipped on the other. That's how it all works. And the first one who talks gets less time. That's the way it is, period. The first yeah. one who talks, it ain't always fair, but that's how it works. So they're going to try to shave off some time if they're looking at decent time. I mean, if Fulton County really is like you say it is, Oh, they're looking at time. They can't get away from this one. I'm going to tell you right now. One thing we're doing with all of these shows and all this news and everything that they're printing that's factual, we're not talking about commentary, right? Our feelings. Just the facts. The fact is they have a lot of evidence that that is solid. Good. You're going to jail, jail for a long time. Good. Wow. And the people and who are helping if you get caught, you're going to go to jail for a long time, too. Just for helping. Just for yeah. helping. And he could tell you all the stories he wants. That's right. That's he already, right. Listen, man was talking to the police. How do you think we got the information? But sometimes people inform and then they disappear. That's all right. you're trying to do. Why you running your scam? That's why I don't. You don't what? That's why I didn't understand. That's why I didn't understand why um, Homegirl wasn't, you know, behind bars too. You know what I mean? You understand why. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, but. It just pisses me off. You say like it just. Yeah, I, let say that. Say that. I, you understand why? Yeah, I, I get it, but you. Know what I'm listen, y'all don't need to say yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I understand. understand. Why, but it just pisses you, me off. Understand. It just if you me put off. my daughter's stop us. If yeah. you were to put my daughter's yeah. picture up right now, can yeah. you hear me? I hold on. Let me see. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave while you guys are talking and come back and that way I can put the picture up. I'm gonna do I know how to do okay. it a different way. Listen, do this do this for me if you can. Okay. Put my daughter's picture up and put her picture up. And then we'll just point and we'll figure out what happened. We'll swap stories. If she was the one who was missing and my daughter was out here talking trash, where do you think my daughter will be? Mm. Hmm. They would call my daughter an animal. I know. I know. We that's right. That's what we was texting yesterday. Yeah. I know. I know. You know it just it. pisses me off. It's just it's just messed up. Like it's crazy. It's fucked up. Excuse my language. It's like, oh yeah. God. Woo. Lord of mercy. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She's a beautiful young lady. Y'all look just alike too. <laughs> Your daughter looks just like you. <laughs> She's Thank so you. pretty. Thank you. Hi, son. I know you got a little boy. Yeah. I know he's, you got a little boy. He's tough. That's all I have to say. He's tough. He's He's, you know, dealing with it as good as you would expect, better than you would expect. Um, they were very close, super close. They are 17 years apart and were born the same human being. I'm sure you've seen pictures of how much they look like, you know, but they yes. have the same heart. <laughs> they have the same back. Mm. So, you know... He, you know, he has some challenges, you know, coming up with, you know, the realities of what we're going through. But I would say that, um, you know, some days we go through and, you know, we're just okay. And then some days we're not. And I just try to create mm -hmm. a safe space for those days where we're not and just let him know you're not alone. I'm not, I'm not okay either. Mm -hmm. And it's okay not to be okay today. Mm. Wow. Seven. Yeah. You do this. Thank the great courses and you got a garden life. You know? Yeah. I don't know why I think he's popping yeah. up like that. Mm -hmm. Oops, I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm make 24 hour marathon. Okay. When I we told you, yes, yeah, you said 24. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to what time tomorrow? Nine. <laughs> okay, so when I wake up, I'm going to be like, hey, y'all, I'm going to call it. Nine in the morning. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who's going to be like, uh, hey. We're going to have a whole next week before we're even done. Oh, my God. Hey. I'm just going to take a nap first. Uh, Jasmine. Jasmine going to take a nap first. Oh, God. You didn't even sleep. I don't even know how she's awake right I now. I can't. She's I got to be. I almost passed out this, this morning. I know. <laughs> I've been watching you. I almost passed out this morning. You told me I'm like, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I didn't sleep good last night and the other two nights either. Oh, yeah, you were cool. working. She was working hard. Working on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I fixed it. So forgive me. For, oh, I'll goodness. put the, um, everything else up later. I do want to ask do you have a uh, GoFundMe or something that we can support that you can share in the chat mm. for us. Yes, um, I will share it in a little while because I'm okay. afraid if I start check, like my screen keep freezing up because people okay. are texting, me, so I don't want to okay. mess y'all up. But I'll send it to you in a little bit. Yes. Okay, and um, I'll make sure we share that on our community wall too. Okay. Okay. Um, I will say this has been probably the one time where I'm just like lost for words. You 
embody everything you say your daughter embody because to have the strength to say some of the things you said about somebody who in turn betrayed her. hard to hear but it's um even though it's hard to hear it um it gives me hope yeah. that you know and and it's inspiring to see someone that is going through what you're going through be so strong because I don't, I can't imagine what it feels like to be in your shoes right now. And I wish I could do more. We could do more as a community. Like, I just want to give you a hug right now because I know that this is not easy. And this is your baby. This is your daughter. And to be treated the way you've been treated, to have to sleep at night and not know, I can't imagine what that feels like. But you, the things that you said that your daughter, you know, the characteristics that you say she has, it it shows I can see where she got it from. Um, thank you so much for being on this and, and, and taking the time to talk about this because I know it's not easy. And um, I'm, I'm so proud of you for being strong in the moment when I know that it's not easy. And you have to pull it from somewhere, you know, and I just pray that God keeps his hand over you and that he, that Alani gets justice. Whatever you need. And if you're listening to this stream, please put this story out. Please. I just, I don't want to say anything bad about this situation. I'm trying to remain as you know, I'm trying to be like you. Let's put it this way. When I get off the stream and I talk about this later, it might not sound so nice. Yeah. But all I'm going to say is, um, God bless you for just who you are because I see where your daughter got it from. And to say some of the things to someone who I feel like isn't even deserving to hear those words and to have so much grace, that's only God. That's only God. Um. And that's all I can say, because I know this wasn't easy. And I just appreciate the fact that you have sat down and you've been vulnerable us and transparent with everything that's going on. And like I said, anything you need, we're here. We're here. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for continually doing what you're doing. And um, I know that I probably can speak um you know to people who who are in similar situations or worse situations of, uh, you know just crimes against their loved ones is that even though it's painful for us to have these kinds of discussions you know they're necessary so that people can connect to i guess the heart of the story you know, if our hearts do not get reconditioned, we are going to be in a severe, severe, we think we have problems now. Mm -hmm. The less and less that we care about each other as a community, as a people, as a whole, as human beings, the worse we're going to be off. And trying to desensitize us and give us all of this, you know, it's, it's constant, 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 constant. Yeah. It makes you look the other way. Yeah. But I hope that through me looking at people in their face to the worst time um, of my life, which is not my normal, it would not be my desire to tell you my life story. That's not who I am. I'm a more private person. So I go through all my battles by myself. But what this situation has helped me understand is that there are battles that you should never have to fight. But if you fight them, you should definitely never do them by yourself. And so I hope that you guys 
get continued support to put these stories out. I know I will support you guys as well. I know my whole team is also doing the same thing, my family, so that you guys can keep on trying to, you know, get some kind of resolution. Um, and the more that the algorithm picks up these stories, right? Yeah. The more opportunity mm -hmm. it is for things to get resolved or for people you know, who are committing crimes to say, ma'am, we don't want to have this. It's getting too hot out here in these streets, you know? Yeah. And I, I hope that, you know, you guys continue to have success in what you're doing. And prayerfully, there won't be a need for your show in this capacity, right? Yeah. Everything will be resolved. Mm -hmm. My desire is that you guys could get something okay. new, you know, a new fight. <laughs> A new wonderful mm -hmm. like all the good stories some yeah. people have happy endings you know mm -hmm. that you guys yeah. could be telling those stories because right. you certainly have the person right. to care about what's happening so thank you um for having me on and uh i'll catch y'all at nine thank <laughs> you <laughs> i want to see who's awake <laughs> who's gonna be awake Thank you so much. All right. You have a good night. All right. Uh -huh. Thank you. Talk to you. Thank you so much.